Folks, ya niko hapa Kiamunye na niko tu kando ya barabara. I'm somewhere in Kiamunye here. And uh, niko na kibarua hapa by the way. Okay, niko na kibarua hapa. Na kibarua, folks, you know I've been singing, I've been saying, I've been shouting, you know I've been telling developers ama real estate investors watu wako na mashamba zimelala tu na zifanye chochote. I've been telling them Nakuru is prime for real estate development. Do something on that shamba. Sasa leo nimepewa kibarua. <laughs> Mali niko hapa naona pale kuna kibao imeandikwa Nakuru College of Health Sciences. Nakuru Premier Academy iko shule iko hapo. Canon Ndungu Street. Hapa Kiamonye. So tukienda hivi ndani kidogo iko mtu wako na property pale na ameniambia. Na ni diaspora. Eh hey, diaspora I've been singing to you. Finally you are talking. <laughs> Ujumbe umefika nyumbani. So na ni diaspora. Sasa uh, this person is like Ezra. Enda hapo basi niambie what can I do there? Sasa I'm here. First I'm looking at the traffic. Folks, this is a Nakuru Kabarak road. Nakuru Kabarak highway inaenda paka Mogotio mpaka Ravin mpaka Baringo County. So first thing I'm seeing, okay, the, the access is good. From here to where the parcel is, is about 150 meters. About 150, 150, 200 meters in. So I'm looking at the other developments around. There's an apartment there, that is Alexana Apartments. Kiamuni Royal Greens Resort is just there. That is a resort, Kiamuni Royal Greens Resort. Eh? So pale kuna mali watoto wanaweza kwenda swimming. Watoto hata watu wakubwa even the adults they can be going for swimming. Ah uh, wanaweza enda wanakula dinner. Like I'm just You know when you want to develop somewhere first you look at what is there around, you know. So naona kuna apartment hapa tu. Hapa tu inaitwa Alexana Apartments, Alexiana. 1 2 and 3 bedrooms. Hapa naona kuna some mansion it there. Pale chini kidogo. There are some bungalows there. Opposite huko kuna kitu, ipe imelala. Pale nyumba ndo kuna naona kuna mtu anafanya ujenzi pale. Ha, Ezra. Uwe. Sasa huyu client nafaka nirudi na majibu. Ezra niambie basi nini tutafanya hapo? So I'm right here. I'm I'm thinking I'm like okay, uh -huh, just looking around. But one thing, one thing, one bedrooms are very scarce in in Nakuru. Not even just in Kiamuni. One bedrooms in Nakuru they are very scarce. So one bedrooms already iko hapo. One bedrooms already ziko hapo. Some executive one bedrooms, you know, they can fetch 15,000 Kenya shillings, you know, uh, on the list 15 to 17 there. So I'm thinking one bedrooms, but then I'm looking at the around Apple. Kuna some mansion at Apple. Not too far from it. Kuna some bungalows pale chini, a gated community. Huh? Some mansion is behind here, behind a Royal Gardens Resort. There's a school there. There's a college down further. Accessing the Tamak Road, so easy. Ah, Grand Winston Hotel, there's a mall, there's a mall that has been built just up here at Masinjeri. There's a new mall there. Ezra, 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 one bedrooms. Hey. Okay. Okay, one bedrooms are scarce, of course. Okay, uh, one bedroom and two bedrooms. Two bedrooms and three bedrooms. Okay, it is not on the face. So two bedroom and three bedroom for those people who want exclusivity like Atai kuonekana mahali wameingia. It's perfect. Ukishuka hapa ama ukifika pale utan tu uende hivi umeingia kwa nyumba umeingia kwa boma. Ah, ah hata mbona naumwa na kichwa. Si mimi nisha identify property. Mimi nishaangalia. Mahali mwenyewe aliniambia enda uone. Sasa why am I stretching myself? <laughs> Mina, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sasa I'm going to engage my good architects. Acha acha sasa hao ndo wanafaa kuumwa na kichwa. <laughs> yes, Miss Vaiko Sumbuka Babana. Sasa, this is where I'm going to engage my good architects, my good uh, GIS guy, eh, geographic information systems, my good urban planners. I have all those contacts. 
Yeah, especially my good architect sasa nikiwaleta hapa waangalie hivi. <laughs> Wacha waende umwe na kichwa bana. It's not up to me kuumwa na kichwa. Mimi nikishapata clients, nikisha identify mali pa kujenga. Bas mimi kazi yangu imeishia hapo. Yuko kwingine kwa kuumwa na kichwa. Architects na structural engineer ninyi umwa na kichwa. Eh? That is now not up to me. But anyway, I need, I still need to go back with answers to that client. So I'm going to propose one <laughs> okay, some one bedroom and two bedrooms. And they can even do them for sale actually because this e place you know, for somebody buying something for sale, you know you want a place at least at least you know image feature mbali kidogo, you know low density in a way. You know, lakini huko mbele sasa kwa commercial eh plot za mbele unapotanga ni commercial, sasa hapo ni place high density traffic nini noise but ukiingia ndani kidogo hivi i think even for sale can work i'll also suggest that one to this client yeah so uh, i have answers one bedrooms are scarce one and two bedroom mix or maybe two and three bedroom you know for those ambao wanataka exclusivity wanataka tu wajificha in, in a way apartments for sale maybe two three floors max maximum three floors apartments for sale yeah i think it can work it can work so uh, I'm surveying but hapo kwa kumwa na kichwa mimi sitai kumwa na kichwa hiyo ni kazi ya architect concept builders nyinyi sasa kaa chini chora ona ijakuwa poa toka nje enda vuta siga tena rudi tena haribu hiyo plan enda swimming ukiendelea ku swim ehe tena amuka kumbuka hii idea inaweza work enda tena chora tena toka hapo tena ona tena hii jaingiana poa tena kaa tena wiki mzima tena rudi to the same project eh amka sana za usiku sasa ile umelala idea kuku ah yes i got it enda sasa fix hapo pair structural engineer structural engineer pia wewe umwa na kichwa kama hizo columns itasimama you know sometimes architect when za chora kitu kingine structural engineer anaangalia na changaa wewe buda ulikuwa unafikiria nini hapa <laughs> so acha umwa na kichwa is not to me kumwa na kichwa bana mimi ni sio about project mali inafanyika mimi ni sio identify client Concept builders it's up to you sasa. Yenyu mwa na kichwa bana. Mimi nisha maza kazi yangu bana. The project is coming somewhere here. For now stay ku pinpoint ni wapi. But Canon Dungu Street Kiamunyi hapo iko project tunaanza hapo very very soon. Canon Dungu Street hapa Kiamunyi. Lakini kuumwa na kichwa is not up to me hiyo. Hiyo ni concept builders na structural engineer. Eh yeah, huko mbele. Mimi wacha nenda nipatie client majibu. You know mimi wacha nikapatie client nimwambie 1 2 hata huyu anafaa jenge huyu baba amelalia commercial property hapa front na iko tu hivi viwanja kiamunye kuna viwanja mi eh viwanja imelala tu hapa tu eh fox sindo hivyo mimi nimemaliza wacha nikapatie client majibu acha sana nika discuss na client ni mwambie this is how it's going this is what is in demand but this one is ideal one bedrooms are in demand one bedroom a mix of one bedroom two bedroom is ideal but we can also do three bedrooms for sale sasa yeye ndiye ataamua ile ataamua maze like this place is so i mean it's perfect maze angalia hata vile guys inaingia huko ba Angalia tu. Street light ipigwe hapa pale 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 pale. There is a mall pale juu. Ha! <laughs> Sasa over to the architects. I will hand it over to the architects. Of course nikishapatia client hiyo feedback. Sasa architect, sasa nyinyi. Over to you sasa mimi. Mimi have finished. Mimi shall take client. Nipe commission yangu. Mimi shall take client. It's raining.